hi guys thanks for checking out my video I downloaded the leaves and foliage brushes from the Autodesk sketchbook website and then I tested them out here and you can see all the names of the brushes pop up as I go through them I then pinned them to my brush menu over to the side so that I wouldn't have to return to the large menu brushes to use them I included my reference photo of my cat Senor Dangato so that you can see where I got my inspiration from to draw the image that I chose to draw I decided to make this like kind of a nature guide cat so that I could include some of the stamp type brushes that was included in the set. Some of the puffier brushes that you saw earlier that were just like clumps of leaves that you would use if you were putting uh, puffs of leaves on trees. Uh, I just made the brush size smaller so that I could use it to create the line work for this cat. I wish I would have looked up some reference photos of trees before I really jumped in there. I didn't erase all of the original line work because I kind of liked the red, reddish pinkish undertone that it left behind. Oh, look at that, I made the eyes all wonky again. I always forget that I shouldn't start on the side of drawing the eyes with my dominant hand. I should put the eye on the left hand side and then draw it with draw it on the right hand side so that I'll have a better chance of making them even. But I always pretty much do the opposite. Included some fancy little bracelets on the cat just because. But you can see on the side, uh, on the left hand side, right under the color palette, the brush controls where I could just make the line as thin as I want it. But it had such an opacity that I had to press harder on the brush and sometimes that would make the line a bit thicker than I wanted it to. Just using the, one of the foliage brushes to add in fur color to the cat. Once I decided to put in a background, I wish I had to fill the cat in white so that I could have colored any way that I wanted or wish I would have done the background first I don't know I know in other uh, art programs you can just select the image and then like in Photoshop you can like load the image selection and then cut out the images around it that you don't want to be seen so that you don't have to paint the entire inside of the whatever that you decide to create but I haven't really explored all that sketchbook has to offer I really like the texture that these foliage brushes could create. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching my video, guys.